What does it mean to you to abide under the shadow of the Almighty? I was sitting at work the other day, always thinking about what message does the Lord have for you? And I actually started to have a pity party because the word shadow came to mind. And I started to think, well, there are lots of times in my life where I have felt like I have lived in the shadow of other people. And most of those times that I felt that way, it honestly didn't bother me because I'm not one to seek credit. I'm not one to seek attention. But that's not what God was trying to tell me. And if you read Psalm chapter 91, verse 1, it says, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I kept reading that chapter. I read through the whole chapter. And if you're familiar with it, you'll probably know that that's a, bit, that's a real popular chapter to read during this pandemic because of the promises that are in there about God's protection, God's power, God's care. But I kept backing up to verse 1, He that dwells in the secret place. And when you dwell in that secret place, that one word, dwell, what does that mean? It means you live in the place, in that secret place of the Most High. Where is that secret place? It's in your prayer closet. It's when you spend time with the Lord, in that quiet time with the Lord, just you and Him communicating, whether you're reading His Word, you're talking to Him, you're writing to Him if you're writing in a journal, you're writing your prayer requests and your petitions, it's where you spend time with Him. Secret That secret place can be anywhere in your home. It can be in your car. That secret place, it can be in the park. It can be wherever you and Jesus can have that quiet time where you can communicate to Him and where He can definitely and wants to communicate with you. I remember when I had small children, my secret place, was the bathroom. My prayer closet was the bathroom many times. Other times when my schedule was so hectic, raising three children on my own, my prayer closet was my drive into work. That dwelling place becomes your habitation. As verse 9 says, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There again, you're dwelling, you are living in that secret place under the shadow of the Almighty. Even if you feel as if you're in the valley of the shadow of death, as in Psalm 23, you're still there with the Almighty who comforts you, who cares for you. Dwell in that secret place. Dwell in that prayer closet. Take that time to spend with the Lord he wants you to live under His shadow because that's where the protection is. That's where the comfort is. That's where His power is under the shadow of His wings, under the shadow of the Almighty. I want to read to you the promises that He gives us when we simply dwell in that secret place. In that same chapter, in verses 14 and 15, it tells us this. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. How else are you going to know his name and the power of his name unless you are dwelling in that secret place? And in verse 15, he tells us, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor Him. When we're dwelling in that secret place, we're living in that secret place. We make that a part of our lives every day to go into that secret place. God, we're able to call into Him and He answers us. And it go and it ties to Jeremiah 33, 3. Call into me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you never knew. Where is your secret place? Go there to abide under the shadow of the Almighty 
so that you can grow in the Lord and influence the world all around you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. Goodbye.